Greetings everyone, 3 d Hero here, and welcome to today's latest mix set built, to where today I like to present my Zombie Lancer mix set. That incorporates strong attacks, good defense, and the ability to never ever have to worry about ever using healing potions. Ever. The idea behind the build is to allow you to take on any monster in game without ever needing to use healing items such as potions, mega potions, or max potions. This set will recover your health even past the red recovery areas, so you'll always be recovering no matter what you do. And although the regeneration of your health past that recovery area looks slow, it's still a game changer for being aggressive on the monster you're facing. The add on damage you'll be doing with your weapon will also help in dominating the monster, so in the end you'll be sucking the life out of everything in your path, while you stand supreme above everything that challenges you. And honestly it's quite a fun build to play around with, as if you're someone that likes a good challenge, then this is the type of build that you can go with, where you can go off and go into a mission without bringing any type of potions or healing items with you. Because this set here will provide you with everything you need. Good damage, good defense, and good healing regeneration. And if you're someone that wants to tinker around with this and make it more end game worthy, then by all means go ahead. At the current moment in the state, it's good end game anyway, but if there's anything I probably missed out, then by all means go ahead and tinker with it as much as you like. But it's very viable no matter what content you're doing. But anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty bits of the build. The weapon choice here is the Dark Stinger 3 Lance, which comes with a solid amount of wipe sharpness the moment you create it, and 3 free augmentation slots. Now, the great thing about this weapon is that you can increase the sharpness even more with a handicraft jewel, charm, or armor set piece, and practically max it out with a level 3 skill. On top of that, with the 3 augmentation slots given to you, this means you can freely customize and add in whatever you like, such as more damage, more affinity, or more slots. As you can see, I went with a affinity, attack, and health augmentation to focus on doing more damage and gain back health while damaging said monster. Now of course, I could have gone with the Gowan Dihara 2 Lance as it comes with a maxed out wipe shyness and 30% free affinity. However, you'll need a Lance Hero Stone to drop to upgrade it first, and that is quite rare on its own. Then you have to decide on whether you want more affinity or health regeneration. Plus, all of this is quite costly so if you make a mistake, then there's no way of changing it back unless you have a spare Hero Stone to use. But like always through my builds, it's entirely up to you to decide on which one you want to go with. As the Gowan Dihara will provide you more damage in the outrun, but the Dark Slinger will provide you more choices to build around. The main focus of the set is good damage that can be sustained against all monsters you encounter, defense that can block out any monster's attack without it damaging you too much, and regenerate health without ever needing to use potions or any healing items. So with that being said, I decided to follow these three rules and these three areas, and decided to improve upon them with the following. For more damage for the set, I went with Weakness Exploit 3 for hit and read points, Peak Performance 2 for an extra plus 10 in damage without full health, and Protective Polish to prevent my weapon from losing its sharpness. For more defense, I decided to go with Defense Level 3 to negate X amount of damage, Guard to allow me to block unblockable attacks, and Evade Extender 2 to allow me to dodge attacks more fluently on the field. For the regeneration of your health, it will be a combination of the health augmentation for my weapon, and Recovery Up Level 3, and Recovery Speed Level 3. We also have the Vow Hazard Accept bonus added in as well, where we'll regenerate our health past the lost recovery point, so you'll be constantly recovering while you're on the go. The only skill we have left over now is the Speed Sharpener Level 3 skill, which will work in conjunction with our Protective Polish skill, as the two when combined can allow us to sharpen our weapons within less than a second, and thus allow us to have constant white sharpness on the go. With everything in place, you should get an overall 60% affinity from current gear, Attack damage for your weapon to 414, with speed sharpening and protective polish in check, and constant healing to where you'll never be put down so easily. This set won't play aggressively, but smart can outright damage any monster you face in game, make them capable whether you're doing them solo, group, tempered or non-tempered. You'll be able to pump out damage like crazy when you use your protective polish at first, and as long as you aim for the monster's weak point and then block at the right time, you'll pop peak performance constantly, which is what you want to aim for and maintain till the end of the fights. Even if you mess up with your attacks or blocking, it's not much of a problem, as you have constant healing procking from your gear, so you can take all the time in the world you want and not worry about self healing yourself with potions. I also use the Rock Steady Mantle to block out monsters' roars and such, and the Affinity Boost to max out my affinity to 100%, so damage is pretty solid at this point. Combine all of this now and time your Lance counter attack at the right moment, and you can hit around 100 plus damage in one hit. So now you see how the build works. Why not give this step a try and never worry about using potions ever again? And that comes to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then a like and sub would be appreciated. Do comment if there's anything you're confused with or would change, and I'll try my best to help you. But once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.